Alright, so the War of the Rohirrim trailer finally came out. I've been kind of looking forward to this. Because I didn't know at first it was a animated. I just saw, oh, they're releasing a, another theatrical Lord of the Rings movie. Uh, and so, of course, I loved Lord of the Rings from when the movies came out. Peter Jackson. Masterful job. The movies were awesome, and it was really fun, like, watching all the special features and shit. It kind of felt like one of the last, like, big IPs, big trilogies to get adapted, you know. And, uh, but yeah, and then unfortunately, like, Hobbit came out, and it was supposed to be Del Toro, which I felt like would have made more sense for the source material. didn't like on the first trilogy like uh, they were only gonna make two movies the studio only okayed two movies but they were pushing for three and then I think wasn't the opposite true of Hobbits where like they were only gonna do two movies and Peter Jackson wanted to fucking stretch it out to three movies and yeah those they're just kind of boring for the most part um, but yeah, I remember thinking, like, I was surprised that, like, the IP wasn't exploited more. <laughs> Cut to, like, now and, like, back when those, uh, Batman Clone Lord of the Rings games were coming out, we started to see more Lord of the Rings stuff. As far as the books, I uh, tried to read Fellowship school I think and I kind of didn't get very far <laughs> and I had a copy of Hobbit that I took from my elementary school library when I lived in Austin I had to look up what version it was but I remember it was like a big hardcover and it had like a green cover with smog on the, on the cover of it and uh, there was a lot of uh, illustrations <laughs> which is good for me but yeah, it's interesting that they're releasing this in theaters. It seems like it would be more of an HBO Max thing. Uh, but anyway, let's check it out. I saw a couple seconds of it, and the first word that came to mind was shameless. <laughs> Shadow facts. I would say I'm surprised they used movie footage, but... What people know, I guess. Is All that? Middle Earth knows the tale of the War of the Ring, but 200 years before that, Riders of the Mark, Brothers of Rohan, there was an older tale. Arise! Come with an offer to strengthen Rohan. Hera, daughter of Al, I, Wolf, seek your hand in Remember, my uh, warm tongue? Our fathers speak as if I were not even in the room. I do not want to marry you. You do not seek an alliance. You seek a throne. You will live to regret this, old man. She's the wife now. He's dead? You will pay for this with your life. I need to watch the, the uh, you would never wish for war. The Ralph Bakshi ones. I've never seen Fire! those. There's so many of them. I pledge to fight for my king. You know nothing of war. I'm the fastest rider you have. People need help here. Something to believe in. My pride, my joy, you could rule the world. You think I am afraid of you? It looks okay, I thought the animation would be a little, a little more impressive looking. You should be. It does kind of have that 90s, 80s anime style feel, which is cool. What do you know? Check 
check that shit. But yeah, at least it gives me an excuse to like play some Lord of the Rings games and shit. <laughs> uh, but uh, and on the subject of the books, I'd like to read more. Just or I wish I had, so I could like have more context to like uh, shit on Rings of Power. <laughs> I do want to watch that book because it's about to come out the second season. So. Well, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how this shit turns out. It's cool that there's like animes coming out of like you know Terminator and Western IPs. That's cool. I don't know about really seeing it in theaters though. That seems odd to me. I don't know if there's really a lot of people that would pay money to go see this. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs>